So coming up next is a lab buddy who's friend for a really long time since the beginning. In 2017, Whistle Realty did 374 units. Woo! 205 million in volume. And they're the number one team in San Diego per the Wall Street Journal. He's also voted the number one video influencer by Tom Ferry. I just want you guys to give it up for Kyle Whistle. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's get to this. And those of you guys who don't know me, Kyle Whistle, I'm here from San Diego. I live in East County part of San Diego where uh, we don't live in mobile homes, but we sell mobile homes in our business at Whistle Realty. Um, what I wanna do today is just teach you guys everything you need to know with how to grow with video. And what I wanna start out with is why. Why do we need to do video? Why is it important? And I had the opportunity recently to um, meet one of the gals from Google um, Raluca and a stat that they've been studying is that 80% of the content that we consume by 2019 is going to be video. I don't know if you guys have looked at a calendar recently, but 2019 is a matter of months away at this point. And if you guys are scrolling through your news feed, scrolling through your Instagram, scrolling through your Facebook, you're pretty close to that 80% already. When I look at it, it's probably about 60-70% right now. So if that's where the attention is going, that's where we need to be going with our business and with our marketing. Another stat that she shared is that there are 3.3 billion hours, 3.3 billion hours of video every month that are being watched on YouTube. That's crazy. That is a lot of eyeballs watching video. We want those eyeballs because if we can get those eyeballs, we can get more clients, we can sell more homes, and we can make more money and less time, which is what we all want to do. So video has gotten so crazy lately that if the Titanic were to sink today, this is what it would look like. People would literally be sitting there drowning in the ice cold water, but putting it on their Instagram or their Snapchat. Like it's insane, but that's the society that we live in today. So like it or not, it is what it is. We need to take advantage of that opportunity. I'm a gigantic Gary Vee fan. Um, he's a huge inspiration for me. And so I'm gonna share a little video from Gary Vee that really is the premise for everything that we do with video. And then I'm gonna share everything that we've done with video. People continue to put out content that is in high percentage in their best interest and not in the value of the end user. I am still baffled by why the real estate industry on an individual broker level does not realize that they need to become the digital mayor of their town. And what I mean by that is the number one blueprint that fundamentally, look, you're gonna be here the whole you know, time and you're gonna get a lot of good content from a lot of people. You're gonna hear a couple of nuggets from me. A lot of them move the needle a little bit. A lot of them move the needle a little bit. You might sell two more homes, four more homes. To fundamentally change your business where you go from where you are now to 5, 10, 20x the revenue and volume, you have to make dramatic changes. And that dramatic change sits in the form, and here it is, here it is. And by the way, 99% of you are not going to do anything about what I'm about to say. But I'm being very honest with you, because the punchline here is it's hard work. And the reality is that a lot of people are just not willing to put in the work. I mean, that's just the fundamental reality. As a matter of fact, I always think that digital excites people because they think it's scalable. They think like all of a sudden, the computer's gonna do the fucking work for them, right? <laughs> the number one shift that everybody has to do in this room is understand the following statement and understand it cold, not just shake your head when you hear the words coming out of my mouth. The quicker you understand in this room that you are a media company, comma, real estate agent, real estate software provider, whatever you may be, I know that I'm a media company, comma, an agency CEO, a wine retailer. Once you make that shift, everything changes. For example, when you make that mental shift, the content that you put out on Facebook, 
and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Snapchat fundamentally changes. Right now, what many of you do for a living, you're forced to be in the right hook business. The hell are you gonna put out content-wise, right? When you decide to become the digital mayor of your town, everything fundamentally changes. If you decide that you, not the local newspaper, is going to be the provider of the content of the best restaurants, reviewing the school system, and every other nook and cranny in the two, four, six, and eight towns that you live in, you fundamentally start bringing value to end users that are intrigued or interested into moving into your town. So when I first heard this message, it really, really struck a chord with me. And I took a look at everything that we were doing in our business. At that point, we were using viral marketing. They're doing some really cool video stuff for us. We were selling a few hundred homes a year, and I analyzed how many houses did we sell that year on the listing side. And it was like 150 houses. And then we analyzed how much money were we spending on average for each of those listings to do photography, videography, and all of that stuff. And it was an average of about 300 bucks a house. So I did the math and was like, 150 houses times $300 was $45,000 to outsource that stuff. And I was like, that's crazy. And the worst part of it is you might shoot for me Monday and you might shoot for me Tuesday and you might shoot for me Wednesday. I get a different product every single time. And so I decided, you know what, let's take a leap. This was almost four years ago now. And I was like, let's bring our own person in house. Let's quit outsourcing this stuff. And I can have this person do everything we're already doing that I was paying $45,000 a year for, but now I can have somebody 40 hours a week to do whatever the hell this crazy brain of mine can come up with. And it's been amazing. We've been putting out hundreds and hundreds of videos every single year. We came out with a series called Santee Saturdays where we follow the digital mayor philosophy to a T. Had over a million views on that series. Came out with our new series called East County Eats. We've had over three million views on a single video on that series where we go around and interview all the local restaurants and stuff around town. So it's been insane. We've even added a second person on. We're truly growing out this media department because this is what's helping our business grow. This is what's landed me the biggest listing of my entire career. It's what's earned me a nomination for person of the year in my entire city. So I wanna dive into everything that we do when it comes to video. We've broken it down into the four C's. So those of you guys that have had to buy an engagement ring, you're all too familiar with these. Um, I promise you, quality, don't worry, get it bigger. They don't care about the quality when it, when it gets old. They just want it big, they wanna show it off. But anyways, here's our four C's. Um, and I'm gonna dive into them. Normally this presentation I do is about an hour long, um, so I'm not gonna get to show you examples of all of these videos, so I'm just gonna go through it a little quick. If you guys want the full uh, slide deck with example videos of all of these, just text LCA to that phone number up there. I'll give you guys a quick second to grab that, and I'll show it again at the end. All right, so the four C's of video. First and foremost, the hands down most important thing when it comes to putting out video is the content. What's the number one question we get from people? What camera do you use? What lens do you use? What microphone? Like none of that matters if your content sucks. Content is everything when it comes to video. You could go buy a $50,000 red camera and all kinds of crazy audio and lighting, but if your content sucks, nobody's gonna watch it. Conversely, if you just shoot a video with this magical thing that's in your pocket right now and the content is good, it's going to far exceed that video where somebody spent tens of thousands of dollars with shitty content. So it's all about the content and the majority of my talk today is going to focus on the content side of things. Second up is the consistency. It doesn't do any good if you just randomly spit a video out here and there whenever you feel like it. Just like it doesn't work if you just prospect whenever you feel like it. You've gotta be consistent with your prospecting. You've gotta be consistent when it comes to what you're putting out there with your video content. Next up, we'll talk about the channels. So you're recording these videos. Where are you putting them? What's the right place to put them? Why do we put them there? All of that fun stuff. And then we'll talk about composition or quality, but quality doesn't start with C, so I changed it to composition so I could have four Cs. Um, and then we'll talk about the audio and lighting and all that crap. So let's dive into the content. If you guys have not read both of these books, these are absolute game changers. Um, Bomb Bomb did an uh, article earlier this year, they came out like an 80 page book where they basically talked to all of the top video people in real estate and just compiled everything that all of those people know. So there's many people in this room that were in there. 
Um, and I've learned a ton from it. And there's a lot of examples of different videos that people are doing in there. So I highly recommend you guys go download that. If any of you guys are in the mortgage space, they just came out with it this week, the exact same thing on the mortgage side. So those of you guys that are lenders, you need to download that shit too, because it just came out this week. It's full of nuggets for you guys that are lenders to understand how to use video, other than just saying like, I'm a great lender, I'll close fast, like shut up. Read that, it'll teach you how to do it the right way. Um, second is Gary's book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. And what Jab, 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 Right Hook is, is the philosophy of give, 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 and then ask. Far too often what realtors are doing is like, I'm number one, use me, buy, sell, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. They don't want to hear that. Do something they actually care about. Give them something. Don't just constantly be asking for business. If you can go out there and you can actually give them something that they appreciate, they will return the favor and they will work with you. So I'm going to dive into different types of videos for content ideas community videos, listing videos, recorded video, live, and video messages. Community videos, in my opinion, is the first place to start. If you guys are gonna invest any money in any video that you're gonna spend money on, do a community video. Figure out what is, what is that town you work in, that neighborhood that you work in, and do a badass video. Showcase everything that your town has to offer. So showcase where do people go hiking, where do they go shopping? Where do they go for fun? Show the water park, show the school, show all of that cool stuff, the top restaurants around town. Do this really cool video because community rallies around community content. So every time we put a video out about a different community, the engagement is through the roof on that organically. We don't have to spend any money on it. Just put it out there. People are very, very proud of their community that they live in. They share that content like crazy, which is great. It gets your name out there. The other thing that's really cool with it is that you've now got this library of content of all the cool things in that particular city that you can reuse over and over and over again. So when you're listing a home that's close to the lake, you can pull that footage, the B-roll, um, from that community video and use it in your listing video. When you've got the place that's by that 10 rated school, then you can put the footage of that 10 rated school in that video. You don't have to go out there and reshoot that stuff every single time. So you're building this massive library of everything cool about that particular community that you sell in. Um, another thing with the community videos too is just going out and interviewing all the local business owners. Again, our first series, Santee Saturdays, we interviewed 100 business owners. We did coffee shops. We did... Um, yeah, we did coffee shops, chiropractors, insurance guys, restaurants, um, everything. Everything that was out there. It was great. I literally have relationships now with 100 business owners in my community. And as we all know, the business owners tend to be the people with the most money and the most connections. Those are people you want to be in relationship with. And now we've transitioned that over to restaurants. We found restaurants get a massive amount of engagement. If you guys go through your social feed right now, everything is either food, fashion, or fitness for the most part. That's everything. That's what gets all the views right now. So for us, we love to eat. So that's what we chose to go with. Um, listing videos. You should do videos of every listing that you get, absolutely. If you're going to do a video of you talking about a house, Please, for the love of God, do not stand there in front of a camera and say, this is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1500 square foot home. They can freaking read, okay? They saw that in the description. They don't need you to tell them that stupid information. Give them something they don't know. Tell them something cool about the house. Tell them about the coffee shop around the corner that's got an amazing mocha. Tell them about the school that their kids are gonna go to that's rated at 10. Tell them about the hiking trail that's you know, two blocks away that they can go to. Give them something that they can, that's not already on the screen that they're just reading. And don't read off the damn screen because they have that information. Um, recorded videos. So we, again, viral marketing, I'm not being paid by them, I promise. Um, but they're awesome for getting videos out to your clients. So their program is they get two videos a month out to your database. We do one buyer video a month, we do one seller video a month. What videos do I do? Well, I do videos about the questions my clients are asking me. Any question you've been asked more than once in your career by a buyer or seller is something that you should do a video about. It's very simple. So if somebody's asking you about um, what's a short sale? What's a foreclosure? Do a video about each of those. What's escrow? What's title? What's a lender? What's a contingency period? Do videos about all of those things. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It can just be with a simple webcam. It could be with a cell phone. But those are the videos that you want to record because then you can use them over and over and over again. 
We built out a 10 step buying process. We built out a 10 step selling process. So as I'm going through a transaction with a client and it's time to order an inspection, I just send them a text, hey, we're now at step four at selling.kylewhistle.com. And then they'll go and they can see that video. I don't have to regurgitate that same content over and over and over again. I just reuse the content that I already recorded. So recorded videos are awesome. Live videos. This is the biggest arbitrage in video today. Facebook Live, Instagram Live absolutely rule the world. They get a massive amount of engagement. The videos that we do for East County Eats, we go to the restaurant, we're there for like two hours recording. Our video guys go back, they spend like six hours editing these videos. Then we put them up, we pump a little bit of money in them to get some traction behind them. And we get about 20,000 views a week on average, which is amazing, right? Stoked. But while we're there, I also, while these guys are filming, I grab my phone, I go Facebook Live, and I record a quick video. There's no prep time, there's no edit time, there's no money being put into it. We're consistently getting five or 6,000 views on each of those videos. So don't think just, yes, we have a media team, that's cool. You don't need that. Five, 6,000 views is amazing. And that's just Facebook Live with a cell phone, no editing software, no microphones, no lighting, none of that crap. That's just us with a uh, face or with a cell phone. I'll get you, sir, if I got you, baby. Um, so Facebook Live, Instagram Live absolutely rule the world. We've tried to find a way to go both of them at the same time on one phone. We haven't. So we literally bought, it's a stick that holds two phones and we go Facebook Live and Instagram Live at the same time. So we use my media guy's phone and my phone and just go Facebook Live, Instagram Live at the same time. The reason they're so great is because if you go on Instagram, you look at the top, whoever is live or has gone live recently, they're right there at the top of the list with a pinkish red bubble around their name. Like it draws your eye right to it. If one of your friends goes live on Facebook while they're live, it's sending notifications to every single person on their friends list. So take advantage. Facebook Live rules the world right now when it comes to video. Video messages are huge. So we're big fans of BombBomb as well. Um, it is great when we need to send clients updates about what's going on with their listing. We'll shoot a video and email it over to them. So instead of spending a ton of time to type something up, I can just send a video that takes me two, three minutes to record. When I have clients who have birthdays, what does everybody do right now? Goes on their Facebook wall, happy birthday, I hope you have a good one. Like, shut up, like, it's annoying. Most people have actually taken their birthday off Facebook or shut their wall down on their birthday because that stuff's so annoying. Shoot a video, sing to them. Wish them a happy birthday, anything, but just doing videos, just saying a little something. Um, and this is a little tip too, when we do them, because I learned BombBomb Bomb does this when they send us videos, so we should do it because they've studied it and realized that you get better traction. I just have a little whiteboard at my desk and I write down their name. Hi Ryan, hi Kyle, hi David, and I show that. So when they get that email, they're like, oh, this is a video specifically for me. So take advantage of simple little things like that. It's a $5 investment for a little whiteboard, but people are much more likely to click on that video when they see their name there and they see that it's only a 30 second video. That's a lot easier to get them to click on than if it was anything else, a link to a video. They're not gonna click that. So that's huge. Um, and then again, I send them to them in just text. So I shoot the video on my um, computer and then I go on my phone. If you have an iPhone, there's a bomb bomb integration with it. And I just send the video as a text message to them. And like, it makes people smile. It's something different. If everybody's zigging, you got to zag. All right, consistency, super, super important. You need to put video out consistently. Don't do it whenever you feel like it, have a plan. So some of the stuff I've seen that works really well is to have a specific day of the week that you do consistently. So mortgage Mondays, two minute Tuesdays, wine Wednesdays, tech talk Thursdays, foreclosure Fridays, anything like that. We had Santee Saturdays. Well, if you call your series Santee Saturdays, you better come out with an episode every Saturday. You want people to actually look forward to it to where if a Saturday passes and people don't see an episode, they're wondering if you're okay. They're like, where the hell are you? Is everything cool? We want to find a new restaurant this week. So definitely be consistent with it. Have a plan, don't just wing it. It's very, very important. Channels, so where do you put these videos? Facebook, again, Facebook Live rules the world. The beautiful thing is when you shoot Facebook Live, as soon as you're done, you can click the little thing up on the top right and download that video. So it doesn't just stay in Facebook and you can never do anything else with it. Download every single video that you get from Facebook, throw that into, or throw that into YouTube. 
Also, again, Instagram Live. Instagram Live rules the world. Facebook and Instagram Live, I can't stress that enough. You don't need to go spend money on a media person. You don't need to go spend money on a fancy camera. Facebook Live, Instagram Live. I'm gonna beat that into your brains and hopefully you guys will post some really cool live videos and tag me in them and we'll happily give you guys some feedback on them. But go live. Um, when you guys do that stuff, one of the most important things is be you. Be very, very authentic in your videos. Don't try to emulate somebody else that you saw. People will see through that from a mile away or they won't see through it in the video and they'll like you and they'll set up a time to get together with you and then meet you and realize you're nowhere near the person that you were in that video. So be true to who you are and accept who you are. I see so many people that are scared to shoot video because they're like, oh, I look fat in this video. I look short, I look tall, I look dark, I look light. You are fat if you look fat in the video, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like you could shoot that shit 20 times, you're gonna be fat all 20 if you're fat. Like just accept it. I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm just being honest, okay? Now, the videos, every video you do, you wanna put on YouTube, why? Because YouTube is very searchable. It's the number two search, en uh, search engine in the world. Searching for video on Facebook and Instagram is really hard. It's not so hard on YouTube, so every video should go on there. The beautiful thing is once the videos are on there, you can do a lot of stuff with them. Some of these restaurant videos we do, these restaurants take that video and embed it on the front page of their website. How cool is that, that these restaurants aren't even thinking about the fact they're promoting us in the videos that we shot for them. So they're so stoked on them, they put them up there. So that's awesome, YouTube. Um, put them all on your blog, make them sticky. Blogs are very searchable as well. And then messaging, like we talked about, um, sending them via text message, sending them via email message. If BombBomb Bomb doesn't fit your budget, there's something called Soapbox, S-O-A-P-B-O-X. It's free, it's very similar to BombBomb, Bomb, not as good, but it gets the job done. Um, in the essence of time, I'm gonna fly through composition, because again, I said composition doesn't matter. If your content sucks, nobody's gonna watch it. So don't stress out about the composition of the videos. But a couple little tips, um, we'll talk about how to get the best video, audio, lighting, connection, and software. Um, when it comes to shooting the videos, your cell phone, that's all you need. You don't need anything fancy, but our video guy likes using Sony. So I ask him, that's what he likes to use. He's a guy in the orange shirt, go bug him if you have geeky questions about that stuff. Um, Next up is audio. Audio is more important than anything else in your videos because even if it, you are in a dark, a pitch black room and they can't even see your face, they need to be able to hear you. So audio is most important. So if you're shooting a video, just make sure you're not somewhere where there's a ton of wind and a ton of traffic around you. Just get to somewhere that's a little bit more quiet. They don't need to see you as long as they can hear you. So pay attention to the audio. Do the best you can to be in the quietest place possible. As far as lighting goes, Simple tricks for lighting without spending any money. Look at the light. Do not put the sun behind you. Do not put the window behind you. You should always be looking at a window, always be looking at the sun. Very, very simple tip. That's all you need to do. If you wanna invest in lighting, those are the brands of the lights we use. Um, I love using LED lights. Daylight style is our favorite, but those are the two brands. Um, connection, if you're going Facebook Live, if you're somewhere that there's Wi-Fi, use it. Simple. Um, and then software. What software do you need? None. Facebook, Instagram, there's your software. You don't need anything else. But again, if you want to geek out, Adobe Premiere is what our video guys use to do all the editing. So that's everything that I've got for you guys. Again, the key with this is I now go out at an open house. I go to a community event. Anything I do, I'm instantly in rapport with people. People watch these videos. They get to know you. They get to like you. They get to trust you. And that is some of the most important stuff when it comes to actually selling to people. So when we do these events, people are walking up and they feel as though they already know us. They feel as though we're friends already because they've gotten to know us through the video that we put out there. And that's something you just can't do with any other medium. So again, if you guys want the rest of the slides, shoot a text over to that number. We'll send you the full slide deck. That'll have examples of every single thing that I showed you guys. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Whistle Realty has been ranked the number one real estate team in San Diego County three years in a row now, per the Wall Street Journal. I wanna give you a behind the scenes look at the way we do things around here to help our agents make more money and less time and have a good time doing it. Welcome to the Whistle Way.